Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. Hey, we're talking about nutrition labels. Uh, that information that you can find on the backs of packaged foods in a convenience store or even the supermarket, where they tell you what ingredients are in that product you're buying. So anyway, these nutrition labels not only talk about the ingredients, talks about the percentage of nutrients that are found within that particular item, which can really help you if you're watching your weight. Or you have a particular、uh, medical need, and you can't maybe be eating too much of one thing or another. Maybe salt or sodium or too many carbs, things like that. Indeed. So last time, of course, we talked about some of the things that you'll see on the labels there: serving size information, and calories, nutrients. And、uh, various other kinds of information,、mm -hmm. but today we're going to talk about some more information that is included on those labels, and maybe give you some more information about how you could more wisely pick food for you to eat, so that you don't get fat and don't get sick and stuff like that. So we're continuing with our lesson decoding food nutrition labels. Let's get to it. Let's read the entire contents of today's lesson now, one time. Reading a food label seems straightforward, yet many people still get tricked by misleading nutritional claims on food packaging. Watch out for these phrases when choosing foods: sugar-free. Sugar-free doesn't automatically mean healthy. Sugar-free products often contain sugar alcohols like xylitol or zorbitol, which have fewer calories but not zero. Sugar-free foods may also contain the same number of, or higher calories than similar foods with sugar due to other ingredients. Made with whole grains, whole grains have more fiber and nutritional content than refined grains. But when a bread product says it's made with whole grains, it could simply include a small amount of them. Brown color doesn't indicate healthiness either, as breads. Might have added coloring. It's best to look for products that say 100% whole wheat. Organic. Organic foods are grown and processed with minimal pesticides or chemical fertilizers. However, this doesn't make them healthier by default. Organic foods can still be high in calories and added sugars. Immunity boosters. Health food companies might use words like "immunity blend" if their products contain certain vitamins. However, take this with a grain of salt. There often isn't sufficient evidence to show these products increase immune system strength, like their labels suggest. There are numerous other ways food product labels deceive consumers. The best way to avoid being fooled. Is to always read the detailed nutrition facts. Okay, let's dive into it, everybody. Let's explain the contents of today's lesson again. We're trying to figure out the food nutrition labels. We're decoding those labels to see exactly what they mean and what that information means. So, yes, reading a food label seems straightforward. Yet many people still get tricked by misleading nutritional claims on food packaging. So it's not good enough to read the label and think, "Oh, they're being honest with us."、Uh, they wouldn't try to fool us, would they? So these、uh, oh, labels. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs>、uh, yeah, these labels certainly must be telling the truth. But、uh, here we're saying that sometimes those labels can be misleading. Okay, misleading means that well, they tell you one thing and it sounds good, but it could mean something else. Usually. Something bad. So watch out for these following phrases when you're out there choosing food that you want to eat. Sugar-free. Hmm, that looks good. Sugar-free. Sugar is kind of bad for us, right?、Mm. So if it's sugar-free, it should be great and healthy. Not necessarily. So here it says sugar-free doesn't automatically mean healthy. A lot of these sugar-free products often contain things that we call. Sugar alcohols—they're types of chemicals that、uh, are put in food to replace natural sugar. One of them is called xylitol, and another is zorbitol. These are chemicals that our stomachs aren't necessarily happy 
to have in them. One thing I can give as an example, because I record a lot, I I use a lot of these、uh, lozenges. This one's called Strepsils,、okay. and it's sugar free because I think it's better for my teeth. But it also has、um, either xylitol or sorbitol, and it gets my stomach upset after a while. Mm -hmm. Yes, and those are artificial sweeteners, and sometimes some、uh, people say that they're actually worse for you than the real thing. So if it does say sugar-free, there's still going to be some kind of sweetener in there usually. Yeah, they have fewer calories, but not zero. There still are some calories in there, and sugar-free foods may also contain the same number of or higher calories than similar foods with sugar due to other ingredients. Ingredients. You got to be careful there because sometimes these products、uh, have a lot of、uh, carbohydrates in them, and which can be converted into sugars or fat in your body. So be careful there. And、uh, of course, a lot of times these products contain natural sugar or at least sugar that was、uh, originally in the product to begin with. So sometimes they say no added sugar, which doesn't mean there's no sugar in it. Okay, sometimes they, that means there already is some sugar in there. Like some of these yogurt products I've seen, it says no added sugar, but they're still very sweet. I think there's a, a lot of sugar in the、uh, process in which yogurt is made. So yeah, you got to be careful there. Except for Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt、uh, has very little sugar in it, and it is a good protein, but. You might find it not sweet enough for you because most of the yogurts on the market are very sweet, just like Tom said. Uh, indeed, yeah, that、uh, pure yogurt or whatever Greek yogurt can be quite sour, so it is an acquired taste. So be careful about the label that says sugar-free. That may not necessarily be a good thing. And here we end with the word ingredients again,、uh, because it has other ingredients. It might still have quite a bunch of sugar in there to begin with. Now, next on the label, you might see something that says "made with whole grains."、Mm. Yes, that sounds very nutritional. Ooh, whole grain goodness! How could that be bad for us? Well, whole grains have more fiber and nutritional content than refined grains,、uh, like your white bread, for example. That's made with refined Refined grains, refined sugar. Excuse me, refined flour or refined wheat.、Uh, they get rid of the wheat bran or whatever because people like the white bread. Oh, it's so tasty. Or even white rice has gotten rid of the、uh, of the bran and stuff like that. So indeed, sometimes the whole grains are better for us because they have more fiber and nutritional content than those nasty refined grains. So we've got whole grains and refined grains. But when a bread product says it's made with whole grains, see how tricky that can be. It doesn't say that it's、uh, all whole grains. It just says, "Oh, it's made with whole grains." It could simply include a small amount of them. This is a really good example of a misleading product. So that label is telling you, "Oh, you can eat this. This is made with whole grains. That's great for you. Lots of fiber." Um, if you eat that refined white flour, what it does is it makes your blood sugar go up, which just turns to fat. So it's really、uh, not good for you. But if you're eating those whole grains, it takes your body longer to digest, and it's actually better for you. But watch out! Just because they say made with whole grains doesn't mean the whole thing is made. With whole grains, you're looking for 100% somewhere on the packaging. So it could in simply include just a little bit of them, but because that they just because if they just add a small amount, they can get away, or、um, it's okay for them to make that statement. Be careful, though. Mm, yes, they can get away with that、uh, quite often, but yeah, it could have just have just have one percent of whole grains in there, and they could say, "Well, it's made with the whole grains, one percent." So we can say that we're not lying. One <laughs> percent? Can you imagine?、Uh, yeah, that would be ridiculous. But、uh, yeah, they probably do have higher amounts than that. But still,、uh, it's very likely it's not one hundred percent unless it says so. Yeah. And so when a bread product says it's made with whole grains, it could simply include a small amount of them. 
and brown color doesn't indicate healthiness either, as breads might have added coloring. I've heard that as well. Sometimes you look at the bread and you think, "Oh, it's brown." Then it must be whole wheat bread. But、uh, surprise, it actually has a brown color added to it using dye in the process when they make the dough for the bread. They probably add some brown coloring to it, so it looks like it's wheat bread, but it really isn't. It doesn't indicate healthiness because they may have added coloring. So it's best to look for products that say 100% whole wheat. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in today's lesson. Let's take a break now, but stay tuned. We'll be right back. 谢谢 Mary 老师 Hello, my name is Shelby. 食物标签上还有哪些玄机？第一段第一句阅读食物标签似乎很简单 ，seems straightforward. Seem 似乎连缀动词，后面加形容词或者分词 ，straightforward 老实或坦率的。然而，有许多人被欺骗。By 令人误解的营养声明 ，get tricked 被戏弄。By misleading claims, misleading 使人误解的。Claim 宣称，后面可以加介系词 on 或者 to 或者 for 等，再加 something 表示对什么的主张。例如说 ，Mary made a claim to the pencil. Mary 认为她应该得到这支铅笔。包装上的有些字眼要小心，例如第一个 “sugar-free” 无糖，无糖并不必然表示健康。到第二句 “sugar-free products” 通常包含了 sugar alcohols 糖醇 ，alcohol 酒精，糖醇是一种无色的结晶，有甜味，可以食用。例如 xylitol 木糖醇比较少糖，但并非无糖。第三句，无糖食品可能会 contain the same number of calories， 可能含有一样的卡路里。我们来看一下 contain 这个生字哦，一般是做包含来解释。例如说 ，the bill contains vitamins， 这个药丸中含有多种的维他命。那英文新闻报道说，野火只有百分之十被控制。The fire is only ten percent contained. 这时候，它就当控制来解释。除此之外，它因为是及物动词，通常不用进行式。接着后面说，比起类似其他的含糖食物 ，due to other ingredients， 由于其他的成分 ，made with the whole grains， 全谷物制成。第一句，全谷物有更多的纤维。比起 refined grains, refine 提炼 refined grains 精致谷物，例如像蛋糕或者吐司等。Refine 也可以用来连接道德或文章，例如说 to refine your speech， 使你的言谈更优雅。当面包说它是全谷物制成的时候，它可能只含有少量的谷物。那棕色呢，也不代表健康。Indicate healthiness. Indicate. 指出来，后面加名词或者是 that 子句 ，either 也放在否定中使用。若肯定句表也，就要用 to t o o as 连接词，这里当因为引导副词子句，所以也可以用 because 或者 for f o r 等来代替。因为面包可能会添加色素。下一句 ，it's best。To look for products, 点点点，这是 it is 加形容词，再加 to v 或者是 that 子句的句型。It 虚主词代替后面的 to look for products 寻找产品。整句是说最好寻找标有百分之百全麦的产品。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Okay, let's continue with our lesson again. We're talking about how to figure out food nutrition labels on food that we buy in supermarkets or convenience stores or other places. So today we talked about the label claim of being sugar-free. That's not necessarily good. And we also talked about、uh, an item on a label that might say the product is made with whole grains. That might be misleading as well、mm -hmm. because yeah, it might have some whole grains in there. But they don't tell you how much unless it says 100% or something like that. Now let's talk about something that we've heard a lot about recently: organic foods. Okay,、yeah. there are these sections in supermarkets that sell organic food, and people swear by them. Oh, they're good for us because they don't use artificial fertilizers and pesticides in their production. They must be very, very good for us. Well, they may not use some of those bad things like pesticides or fertilizers, but you still have to look at what、uh, ingredients are in the product, right? Now, some of the organic things you can buy in the grocery store are actually whole foods, and、uh, I know they're more expensive. But I've read articles that、uh, talk about how some of the fruits or vegetables are actually worth buying organic、um, because. You know the the just the normally raised foods have so much more、um, pesticides that are used on them or chemical fertilizers which aren't healthy. But we're still talking about packaged foods, guys, because if they're real vegetables or fruits, they're not going to have labels on them, of course. So let's talk about these organic foods.、It、says here they're processed with minimal pesticides or chemical fertilizers. If you process process something, you actually take a series of steps or actions, and you put something through this、uh, series of actions, and at the end you have something. You might、uh, have a factory which processes、uh, their product there, or maybe. Even here in Taiwan, I know they run all of the water through a system that cleans it very well. It's processed through、um, some sort of water purification plant. That's a process. So a process just means some steps or actions that someone takes in order to achieve some end result. It could be a product, or it could be like the water where they take the water and they just make it cleaner for drinking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're saying what、uh, organic foods are. They're grown and processed with minimal pesticides. A pesticide is a chemical used to kill insects in the farmer's field because insects eat the plants, and that's not good. So they may spray these chemicals on the plants to kill those bugs. But、uh, organic foods don't use very many pesticides. It doesn't say they don't use none. It doesn't say they use none.、Uh, it just says minimal, which means as little as possible, and they may not use as many chemical fertilizers as well. A fertilizer, again, is another kind of chemical that、uh, helps fertilize the soil. Of course, sometimes the soil runs out of its own nutrients,、right. so you have to add fertilizers to the soil, and that usually comes from nitrates or nitrogen or things like that. We would put fertilizers on our lawn、uh, at home when I was growing up, and what it was is just cow poop. So the cows would go, you know, to the bathroom, and that would be gathered up. So we would just put cow patties. That's what we call those little pieces of cow poop on our lawn, and it made the lawn very green. It didn't smell good for a while, because who wants to smell cow poop? But we lived very close to a ranch, and it was easy to get. But That's more of a natural fertilizer. What they're talking about here are chemical fertilizers, where they're man-made, they're artificial. So, got to be careful with that. Minimal is the opposite of、um, maximum. So you have minimum, maximum, minimal here. Though has been turned into an adjective. So, like Tom said, there's still kind of a little misleading phrase here. Minimal pesticides. Pesticides. I also like to just think of them as poison. There's some sort of poison that that the bugs or whatever animal is trying to eat those crops. They don't like, and it kills that particular bug or animal.、Um, it doesn't kill people, 
but it seems like it might not be very good for us, right? Uh, I would agree with that. So yes, if you see a package that says, "Oh, this is organic food," don't、uh-huh. worry. But still, you need to be careful there.、Uh, if it says organic, however, this does not make these foods healthier by default.、Mm. Uh, default, of course, is the original factory setting、uh, with a computer program, for example. So we often use this term by default to talk about computer technology, but sometimes we use it. To To refer to things in life,、uh, the original settings or the original condition. Sometimes we say, "Oh,、uh, it's not healthy by default." Okay, just because it's organic does not mean it's good for you. It might have some problems. Okay, so organic foods can still be high in calories and added sugars. Again, if it's organic, it really doesn't talk about fat or sugar or sodium. It really is kind of limited to how those crops are grown initially by the farmers. Do they use that pesticide or poison?、Uh, how many、uh, chemical fertilizers are put on the crops? It really is limited to that. So be careful. Look again very closely at the labels. Here's our last category: immunity boosters. Your immunity refers to how your body can fight off infections and viruses. That you might come into contact with. If you have a good immune system, it means it's not very、uh, easy for you to get sick. You stay pretty healthy all the time. I wish I had a better immune system. I used to have a better immune system, but、uh, immunity boosters to boost means to lift up or to raise up. So if you want to help your immune system, there are some、uh, foods out there. That actually say that they're good at doing this. There's something inside them that helps raise your immunity、um, and a- enables your body to fight off、uh, any sort of bug. When I say bug, I mean a virus or bacteria that might make you sick. Yep, immunity means resistance to a certain disease or other diseases. So, health food companies might use words like immunity blend if their products contain certain vitamins. Okay, I think I've seen something similar to this, in which the product claimed that they had antioxidants, which is a group of vitamins that supposedly fights off free radicals in your body. And I think I've read some research that says, oh, you can't really do that. With normal food or whatever, but、uh, a lot of、uh, products make that claim that they have these anti-oxidizing、uh, ingredients in them. So I suppose that's what they're talking about here: immunity blend, a blend of vitamins and minerals that can help you fight off diseases. A blend here is simply putting two or more things together. So it's got a variety of perhaps you know vitamin A, C,、uh, zinc. Is also good if you're trying to fight off cold. So, yeah. So it's got things like this.、Uh, I I would call it a catchphrase, a phrase that people look at and go, "Ooh, that looks like it's very healthy. I must buy that." So immunity blend.、Um, yeah. So their products contain certain vitamins, perhaps minerals as well. It says here, though. Here's our warning. However, take this with a grain of salt. If you take something with a grain of salt, it's an idiom we use to say, "Listen to this, but use your own wisdom. Think logically. Don't just believe everything you hear. Take it with a grain of salt. You don't just want to believe anything that people tell you. You need to do your own research so that you aren't misled or fooled." Yeah, I looked up this phrase, and、yeah. I've decided not to try to explain to you why we say this. It's just too complicated. Just take our word for it. This phrase, "Take this with a grain of salt," just means be skeptical. Don't believe everything you're told. I believe in England they'll say, "Take this with a pinch of salt." It means the same thing. Now there often isn't sufficient evidence to show these products increase immune system strength, like their labels suggest. So yes, there has been some scientific. Research, but they don't have enough evidence. There isn't sufficient evidence to prove that their claims are true. So sufficient just means there's enough of something.、Uh, like,、uh, do you get sufficient nutrition in your diet? No, I don't. I eat、uh, way too many carbohydrates, so I'm really, really fat. So here, you want to get sufficient nutrition in your diet, and there isn't sufficient evidence to show that these claims of immunity blend can actually do anything. 
Yeah, I believe that too. So here's our final paragraph. There are numerous ways, or a lot of other ways, food product labels deceive consumers. We're consumers. If we consume things, we take things in. We use them. It could be food. We consume、um, gas in our cars and in our scooters and things like that. We use or take something in as consumers. Now, if you deceive someone, you're fooling them. You're lying to them. You're somehow misleading them by either making a false statement or giving the appearance of something that you know is false, but you want them to believe it. So try not to let these food labels deceive you. Be a smart consumer. Do the research. Look things up.、Um, I've learned to do that now for myself because I found out that a lot of companies really don't care about telling the truth. They just want you to buy their product. Yep. So the best way to avoid being fooled is to always read the detailed nutrition facts and be a smart reader of those labels. Sometimes they do try to deceive us. Okay. That brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Organic, 有机有机食品是用最少的农药种植或加工的。到第二句，然而这并不会使他们因此更健康。By default, default 违约。By default 有自动递补，自然而然的意思。例如说 ，win a case by default， 因为对方没有出席，那自然而然赢得这个 case。这句是说啊。并不是有机用比较少的农药就比较健康，因为它们可能含有很高的卡路里。Be high in something， 富含某物，或写成 be rich in something。例如说，那食物热量很高。The foods are high in fat。Immunity boosters， 增强免疫力。第一句。保健食品公司啊，会使用 immunity blend 这种字眼 ，immunity 免疫力 ，blend 混合。例如 ，to blend butter and sugar， 将奶油和糖混在一起。如果加 er blender， 变搅拌机。immunity blend 指免疫力混合物。如果产品中含有维生素，他们可能就会用这种字眼。However。Take this with a grain of salt. Grain 是指谷物或者盐巴等这种细粒。照字面翻译，吃的时候加一点点盐巴。其实这句英文成语跟美食没有什么关系。它的意思是不要完全相信或接受某件事，也就是说，对某件事要保持怀疑的态度。没有证据可以显示会增强免疫力。最后一段第一句。有许多的方式 ，food product labels deceive consumers. 这是省略 which 或 that 的形容词短句，修饰先行词 ways. Deceive 动词，欺骗。例如 ，to deceive somebody into doing something， 骗某人做某事。所以，最好避免被骗的方法就是阅读详细的营养标示。以上是今天的讲解，谢谢收听。That's it for today. That brings us to an end of our discussion about decoding food nutrition labels. Hopefully, they'll help you have a better diet. We wish you the best of luck. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. See ya.